For the Robert Glass for Ensemble. Oh, look, it's the LeBron sipping on our mom with the Simmons and the Carters and Obamas. All right, let me not get your hopes up. The joke's up. Got you niggas nervous like the ropes. Uh, first of all, I'm a New York nigga New kicks, new chicks, and new fitted You could put me anywhere, I'ma kick it 125th G Dep, let's get it I hate when niggas say you make real hip-hop I will still fuck your bitch in Gucci flip-flops The problem is if I say anything intelligent You call it conscious like it's somehow not relevant I agree that this ain't really for KOD But say la vie out the bows in the SUV on my way to the black Oscars, the late Oscar Grant is getting on it. Somebody tell Ryan Coogler he's a monster, and Magic and Jordan will be the sponsors. Yeah, the the great Quincy Podcast Jones will pick the artist. It's for the Robert the Glass for Ensemble. My guest for today, Ron the Don. What up, what up, what up, Ron the Don? Huh? It ain't on? Is it on? Testing? Can you hear me? Okay, we have a little, little technical difficulties. Should probably should have tested us like we normally do before. Right. We probably should have. <laughs> He's rushing on nigga time, but it is what it is. Okay. All right. Do, do I do my rant time? Oh, you yep. You good? Yeah. All right. Y'all hear me? All right. Test. Well, test the eight. Yeah. Test shit, real. One, this two. shit better than mine. God damn, nigga. Yeah. Like Got to hit the deep voice on that. Temptation. <laughs> um. Yeah. We 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 didn't do a show last week. I had a show. Um. So I'm glad you guys tuned back in. Um. Again, we have our guest Ronda Don in the crib. Yes, yes. All right. Yes, sir. So where you from? Tell the folks where you from. Yeah, originally, man, I'm from Richmond, Virginia. I was born in Richmond, Virginia. Nice. Uh, <clears throat> I've, been in, I've been in Stone Mountain and Decatur area forever, man. So, you know, my home away from home is, uh, you know, the, the east, side. east side. You know, Stone Mountain, Stone Mountain Decatur, Latonia area, you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, she, she go down over there for real over there. Man, nice. go down, man. Everywhere, but we need bro. to stop that stuff, my brother. <laughs> Damn, I almost got a crazy man. ticket over there on Memorial Drive and stole my right by that prison. All right. Try speeding, trying to get to some damn chick. So you try to speed past the prison? You're like an asshole. I, I thought there was nobody going to be outside, man. It was like 12 o'clock. I'm like, she's like, she gave me that call, come after work. I was like, say less. Oh, man. And I opened that motherfucking road up when I got in the cop, like, boom. About to get put in the box Man, for the box. And you know that, <laughs> that big ass building just passed by with all the st- yeah, with all the little, the little, little windows, the little Chinese eyes. Yeah, on you gonna go in that bitch, yeah. keep playing around. So. Yes, yes, sir. So that's what's up. So, cool fact: me and Ron have the same exact birthday. Hmm. Pisces fucking energy in the building. You hear yeah, what I'm man. saying? February twentieth. <laughs> I done met so many people 
with the same birthday we got this year. I never met nobody. Did you really? Who else? Yeah. Uh, uh, you, you know who Ashley Henderson is? Sounds comedian. Like I'm probably bad. I'm bad. I'm bad with Look up day. Ashley Henderson, man. Okay. We just did a, a show at um, Atlanta Comedy Theater. Okay. Me, her, and Jet Wilson. Nice. And uh, yeah, Raheem and and you know the gang was there. K, uh, Kate Davis, they all was, okay. was there too. They, funny folks. They performed. Yeah, it was funny as hell. But yeah, Ashley Henderson, man, she I'm is look up. funny as hell, man. But I'm man, I'm sure. sitting up there talking to her. She like, oh, she like, yeah, my birthday. She was like, I'm like, dang, like, okay, yeah. She was like, yeah, February 20th. I was like, oh, yeah, man. You know, we got Rihanna, we got Barkley, we got, we got it. Met a stripper. She, she a, stri a stripper? No, I met a stripper. Birthday? Okay. Birthday, February 20th. What strip club? Strokers. Okay. I'm going to have to get yeah. it. Yeah, no, she's fine, too. Some birthday money. Yep. That was a while ago, though. You know, Take I ain't my shit right now. back. Bitch, it's my birthday, too. Give me yeah. that shit. <laughs> <laughs> real, this is real. practice. You know, you got to ask the stripper, so what you doing for your birthday? <laughs> I'm here with you. You don't have to be. We can get up out of here. So I can take you away from all this shit, bitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, take you to the parking lot, bring your ass back. <laughs> right back. I, I ain't say how far I'm going to take you away. I just said I was take you away. It's lunch break. Yeah. So, name, give us uh, three adjectives, styles and depth of your style, your copy style, for those who never heard you. Style, man. Uh, my shot value. Uh... Okay. In intelligent, definitely an intelligent okay. uh, comic. Uh, a little ghetto sometime, you know. Um, a little ghetto sometime. Um, uh, very, very. Some people say I come off as like being high all the time, but I ain't high. That's just how I am. You know. What I, guess, <laughs> like, I guess it's the way you, you talk. Just draw out the words, probably. Like, but that's the. I know a lot of people with V8 that talk like that. So yeah, yeah I but, think it's more. Like but I might just flip one minute. You never know what's gonna come out. Like, That's true. Sometimes the the mellow me might come out, and they like, okay, I'm sitting up there and I'm I'm picking people brains and stuff like that. Sometimes the the uh, man, f f f fuck y'all. Hey, look, hey, this what I, how I feel right now. Right. And then sometimes it's like pure energy coming out there. Then, you know. And on top of that, I do impersonations too. So, Did you do impersonation? Who you do? Yeah, I do Denzel Washington, um, Ice T. Uh, who do I pretty much? Everybody do Denzel. Let me hear Ice T. Ice T. Yo, check yo 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 yo. Check this out, homeboy. You know what I'm saying? Yo, this 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 your boy Ice T. You know what I'm saying? Hey, look, y'all was like, hey, look, I, hey, look, yeah, I was on, I was on that show, or whatever, like that. Yeah, I was in New Jack City. Yeah, you know, I tried to kill Nino Brown. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yeah, I was in Colors. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Re recently, I seen Ice T uh, trying to do, trying to rap again. Oh, he needs. Oh some. man, he needs. I need to take care. He of said, "I catch a body from a wheelchair." <laughs> <laughs> no one believes you. I just Ice. caught a body about a week ago. Man, if you don't sit your light skin ass. This nigga said he don't even hang out in L. A. No more, so he couldn't be talking about you catching no bodies. No, no, nigga man. said I be, I don't be outside at all. These young niggas don't have no fucking fucks. They don't care. Yeah. So you can't tell me you catch nobody's body, nigga, when you inside watching Netflix. Yeah, they will They will fuck your old ass up. <laughs> you said these niggas don't even know who I am. <laughs> and look, I tell the old heads, if you're going to be out there, you best know how to fight. You know, you know that old that old man combo. Right. It's two hits and That's a grab. It. That's it. Hold, hold on, young blood. Hold on. Hold yeah, two we got to talk real. <laughs> I talk about this, what the young blood. Hell, you look like goddamn. Hey, hey look, look, you talking about? Come on, <laughs> fair fight. Uh, uh, no, old man, don't do no fair fights. Hell no. Hey, look, he's got hella tricks up there. It's a left and a right and a pocket knife. <laughs> 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 Somebody getting stabbed. Nigga, I remember I, I fought <laughs> an older dude one time, and nigga stepped on my foot and got a couple licks, and I was like, God damn, nigga, who taught you that? Yeah. I was impressed. Nigga's like, ah, it kept me stuck. I was like, ah, oh yeah. shit. You listen, man. Old nigga tricks. I don't care how good you think you can fight. The older you get, the more them shits hurt when you get punched. Yeah, old, old nigga. Can them niggas be strong as fuck? They got the. Man, you got the old man strength, but man, I'm telling you, a couple of shades of skin that came off or something. <laughs> 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 Last fight I got into, I was like, you know, I'm trying to talk my way out of this next time. Yeah, yeah. I ain't even lose, but. I, I, I lost afterwards because I felt like I went you, through football practice. You was hurt. You was bruised in, in your yeah. internal part. Like, God damn, I'm sore as fuck. Yeah, man. Sometimes the shit don't be worth it. You be like, you know what? This shit ain't worth it. Man, a fight ain't never worth it when you got kids. <laughs> right. <laughs> when you got shit to lose. Like, nigga, I ain't even got to do this. I got to go wake up and kick my kids to school in the morning. Like, you man. got this. You got this, nigga. Man, I think you should get more time if you if you do stupid shit while you got kids. I think they should I give you more like time. That. Like, like nigga, you stupid. Like, <laughs> 
It's more time away from your kids. Your kids are like, Dad, what the fuck? <laughs> what you did? Some niggas that really don't care, man, and they got a whole lot of kids. That's true. That's true. That's true. <laughs> That's the kids right there talking. Right. <laughs> you know, I feel like us as black people, man, we really can't, black men can't really grow up. We have our moments when we do some bullshit. I mean, you walk outside, bro, they not going to treat you like you're, uh, it's no more OG. Like, it's no man, hey, man, dude, you know, they'll call you unk and try to start a fight at the same time. They showed up. We young niggas is disrespectful as motherfuckers. Yeah, they disrespectful. Boy, unk, boy, your girl got a fat ass. Hold on. Oh, yeah, yeah. word up. No, uh, just uh, respectfully. Like, no, nigga, they ain't respectful. Respectfully, OG, boy, I fucked the shit out of that hoe. <laughs> <laughs> that's, the, that's real talk. That's why you. That's why they got the shit separate, man. So like, you could, you ain't supposed to be hanging out in these spots. You know what I'm saying? That they at at all. You know what I'm saying under 25. I don't want to be around you like at that. At all, nigga. Hell I like, nah. perform, barely want to perform, motherfuckers like that. Like this niggas don't even be trying to hear the shit. Yeah. Cause you be talking about grown nigga shit, and they be like, man, I got kids, nigga. They don't like. Yeah. Yeah, they don't I can't relate before. to that shit, nigga. God yeah. damn, I gotta dig deep. I gotta talk about Cardi B and all type of shit for you niggas to fuck. Cardi B, I think Change they passed my... her now. Right. Now it's to put my pussy pink, my booty hole brown yeah, now. Yeah. What's up, bitch? Ice, ice spice and all the silky on. I gotta talk about that shit for you niggas that don't understand what the fuck I'm saying. Man, it's all about sex now, man. You Everything. know, it's all about and sex, no interest. And drugs and all kinds of shit like that. Man. Yeah, and them girls is giving it up like somebody put a pistol on them, man. It's like, crazy. get a pussy up. Like, okay, like, it's like so easy. <laughs> Like, for real. Like, that's, that's right. why I like, man, listen, man, I'm cool with having one woman, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah, man. I'm that's cool right. with having one woman, man, because these girls, I'm telling you, like, I talked to this chick way, like, it was a while ago. She was like, uh, I was talking to her and shit, like, you know, because I'm real intellectual. So I'm talking to her and she like, so, uh, like, pretty much, like, fuck all that. What's up? Head, booty, or pussy? What's your favorite? Wow. Said, whoa. Right to oh, the whoa. chase. Hey, hey, hey. Let's hey. Get right to the highlights. Hey, hey, wait a minute, uh, <laughs> young lady. I'm just saying, like, I'm trying to see what that dick hitting like. Whoa. Damn. Don't talk to me like I'm... Bitch talked to you like you was a sample player. Like I was a bitch. <laughs> Like, <laughs> she said, I'm trying to see what that's like right now. I'm like, I don't know how you talk to them studs, but bitch, this dick does not come off. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Hell no. Out here, man. Appreciate you, brother. So, uh, I like to, I, I like to a lot of comedians. Just name some of your highlights of, of you being on stage. Some good time no. and a bad time. Like a moment that you had, you like, yo, this is it. I'm, I'm meant for this um, shit. A moment when you be like, yo, I don't know if this shit for me. Oh, man, I got it. <laughs> Which one you want first? Either one. Tell, me, tell us which one is which. Oh, man, uh, I, I say a highlight was uh, was recent. Well, it's not that recent, but um, I had a show. We, me, me and Fredo had a, the Kanye Boys, uh, Kanye Boys Night at Uptown. Okay. And um, it was on J J January 13th. Okay. And I say the first show pretty much was it's like <clears throat> almost packed. Second show was like packed. You know what I'm saying? And it was a lot of people who I invited that came out there. You know what I'm saying? Mom Deuce came, cousins, uh, uh, every like a lot of people from up the street, the barbershops, everywhere. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And you know, then we had 13 days to promote. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like that was good. Like a lot of people he. That Fredo invited came out there, man. It was a lot of support from the comedians. Like, I was like, damn, they really fuck with the Kanye boy. And man, listen, man, I goddamn got up on that mall. I think I did like like 45 minutes, man. Everybody was like, boy, like, I'm talking about, I, I, was, I was at this job at the time and shit. And I came back to the job, man. Them folks would treat me like a celebrity. Like, ah, oh, man, that's, you know, they, they right, right, right. that's little Kevin Hart right there. Like, right. nah, I'm. Big Kevin Hart. Right, right, right. Nah, right. I ain't Kevin Hart, but yeah, still, they, that was how they was treating They put some respect on that You name. feel me? So, like, man, that was a, it was a, man, it was like shit. It was hard to goddamn go back after that, man. It was like, damn, man, I made it. And it was like, get your ass up and go to work. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Take my Sorry. ass to work. That's, shit, that's, a, that's a highlight. Good, good moment. Mm -hmm. Okay. Everybody want to take a nigga on tour or something like that. You know, I'm pretty funny. <laughs> You ain't gotta talk to me like that, nigga. I just killed Uptown for the whole killed Uptown, you know. Motherfucker. Killed that shit. Yeah, yeah. So what's one of your, your bad moments? Moments you be like, oh, oh hell. Bad no. moments. Oh, man. It was a long time ago, though. 
long time ago, man. <laughs> I had got booed at, at grown folks. <laughs> well, man, you know Mac Boosie? Yeah. How bad was yeah. like? No, it was. It wasn't that I did bad, bro. Like, I mean, I'm always able to handle myself on stage. Like, it comes natural to me. But you know, in our community, we have like it's people who just like straight haters, man. Like, like they they hate us for no reason. Facts. So this one particular time, I like telling the story because after that, that shit humbled me. Right. Even though it wasn't that I did bad, it was that I wasn't accepted from the jump. Because mm. it's in, in grown folks. And in grown folks, in grown folks, you know, it's grown ass folk. Right. You know, and they looked at me and looked at me like. You ain't grown enough. You ain't grown enough. I don't give a fuck how old you is. <laughs> I know, nigga, you barely got hair on your face like that. Nigga, you, you, you got dreads and all that. You, you, Nigga, you got nah. chaperone in this bitch. Exactly. You, we don't think you really got in here right. like that. I'm looking like, bitch, I'm grown. But she looking at me like, no, you so know. I got on stage, right? And I was coming from, you know, thinking I was the shit. You know, because, you know, they would take me on the road. Like, yeah, you know, they was vouching. Hey, man, he good. So I had did a show with Mac Boosie in Macon. <clears throat> so Mac Boosie, man, he funny. This, that, you know what I'm saying? My right. man, he Boosie, vouching for you. Man, come to my spot, this, that, whatever, whatever. I'm all cocky, like, yeah, cool. I go walk up in that mug, man. Mac Boosie called me on stage. Man, I get on stage. I get How many on minutes you do? Listen, I'm, I'm, I did probably like seven minutes. <laughs> but it was just two ladies in the front. It was two ladies, drunk aunties in the front. I went up on it. I said two words. I said, hey, how y'all doing? Boo your ass, boo! I'm talking about, I'm talking about, man. I thought they God, were, after I was how like, you doing? I know they gonna run out of boo. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't run out of boo. It was just two of them in the front, right? And I was glad this shit ain't travel. <laughs> Dude, it was isolated boo. No, it two was like them. boo. It was them two. It was just them two. But they was, you know, uh, you know how our black women is, man. Black women got the voice. They got the the the, the voice box. You ain't wow. finna out talk no black woman. Sure the fuck ain't. For real. I'm talking out. about they. I'm talking about man, two of them. Boo! And I learned a valuable lesson. What was the lesson? Shit, valuable lesson was shit. Keep going. Facts. I let them get the best of me. So it's like you know that was my early learning stages, man. Wait, so you stopped early. Seven, seven was the early stop. You supposed to go longer. Yeah, I mean, I could go, you know. I'm not know you go there, but he, how much time did was he intentionally supposed to give you? I mean, probably like ten minutes, but at the same time, uh, it was it was interrupted. So. Uh, rest in peace to uh, my boy Tyler Craig, man. Tyler Craig was a Facts. big, big, uh, big mentor. OG, he, yes. he used to teach me shit, you know what I'm saying? Dirty South, yeah. uh, Fredo, Zoo Man, you know what I'm saying? All these dudes, you know what I'm saying? We, you know, I, I learned a lot of stuff from them. So, like, some stuff you just got to go through. Right. You know Facts. what I'm saying? <laughs> so, you got to endure some that Some stuff shit. you got to go through, man. So, it's like, when that lady hit me with that boo, when she hit me with that boo, they was looking like, okay, she hit you with the boo, now what you gonna do? Right. Like, they was waiting on that to happen, right. you know what I'm saying? Right. So when it happened, I was like, I was like, dang, like, nah, I thought right. everybody liked me. Right. Like, I thought, look, I thought, look, look, I thought I was on my way. <laughs> <laughs> These motherfuckers knocking me off my pedestal real quick. <laughs> hey, I did not, listen, after that, even though it wasn't even a spot that really even count, to me, you know what I'm saying? It was just the fact that it humbled you that for energy, bit. man, hit yeah, you. Yeah. Cause you know when you do up on stage doing comedy, bro, like everybody energy is coming towards you. I be trying to tell niggas like that's just a different feel. When you doing great, that shit is orgasmic. Mm -hmm. When you not doing great, yeah. that motherfucker, when you want to crawl in your skin in the hole or some shit like that. Yeah. I God got, damn. I got one, I got one more bad one I can tell you too. And this, listen, this one. Cause you know, it, I like pretty much uh, all the. I'm just paying homage to the 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 uh, comics that. You know, I I started, you know, learned a lot of shit from, and they mm -hmm. passed away. Mm -hmm. All right, <laughs> this is a Nard Hollis story. Nard, it's out the Nard. It's my guy. But look, man, Rest in peace. This is early again. I was at Uptown, the old Uptown. Okay. And Dirty South, I was riding, rocking with Dirty South. She had just he bought me Marietta in Uptown. Nah, Marietta Street. Past, yeah, Marietta Street. Right. That's my that's my favorite one. So okay. Mar Marietta Street. I was I was on the stage. Well, I went on the stage yet, yeah, but I was fresh, and it was me and it was Od Odell. 
O.D. Odell, that's my first time I met him. Got you. So O.D. Odell, you know, I'm new and stuff like that. I got a car and whatever, whatever. He say, uh, hey, man, let's go to the store. So Nara like, man, y'all make sure y'all be back because he knew he got to go first. I was like, yeah, bet. You know what I'm saying? Dirty South like, my nephew going to be back. You know what I'm saying? My nephew gonna be back. Don't worry about that. Right. That's exactly. Me and him go. Too. Take us a long time to get back. We get back. Nara look around. He said, "Man, you can't go on stage." He said, "Nah, man, you knew." He's like, "Man, you just gotta deal with it." And Dirty South just kept going at him like, "I'm gonna make sure you get on stage." But I was like, "Shit, you know, I'm having fun." Right, 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 right. On the back, we up there. You getting to it? You know what I'm saying? Drinking, smoking. How long you been doing comedy uh, that more? Uh, at that point, that was like my first. Uh, probably I, I don't even think it was a year yet. Okay. It was fresh, fresh. Oh yeah, you new, newbie, newbie. Yeah. Hey, okay. But Dirty Side was taking me everywhere. Right. So that's what's up. You know, I was getting, I was getting my, that was getting, my, that was my college. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so we was on the put back porch, uh, uptown. You know, right, getting right, to right. it. You know what I'm saying? Smoking, drinking, whatever. And Dirty South come back. She said, "Guess what, darling? <laughs> you get to go on stage." I said, oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> you like, I'm lit right now. Hey, anybody who know Dirty South, they know you can't tell her no. You sure the fuck can't. I never I told, told her. I told her no one time she never let me let that shit down. Yeah. Like an asshole, too. Nah, I, I I couldn't tell her no because I respected the fact she, she bought me out like that. So it's like, no matter what, I was like, I don't care where she put me up at, I'm going on stage. Facts. But I was high as a motherfucker, man, and I'm ADHD. <laughs> so that shit fuck up my ADHD. I don't even smoke today. <laughs> I can't smoke. I can't smoke, man. That shit, that shit make me slow as a motherfucker. <laughs> so how so, long was your set? Listen, I'm going to tell you how long it is. Listen. <laughs> and shouts out to DJ Aunt Love, too, because, look, so. Well, Aunt so, Love get your ass, too, when I'm so, no, no, that music. <laughs> so she come and say, you going up, and you going up next, darling. I said, damn, when I tell you that room got extra small, you know, like with the long ass hallway. I was like, damn. So they called me up there, run it down. I come and walk in. Remember that one juice? Mm -hmm. when, when after they killed right, they killed Raheem, mm -hmm. when he had to go back up to the DJ jump. Yep. That's how it was. Man, I walked there, man, I swear it felt like a mile walking up there. I got on the jump and I told the jokes to myself. Like nobody else was there. So nobody could hear, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> and then I just, <laughs> boom. Then I tried to act it out, but you know when you be high, you, your body don't react as fast. So I'm like, yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, and I tell, when I tell you, you could have heard a guy, <laughs> you could have heard a goddamn uh, a rat jacking off, <laughs> and now man. They ain't nobody say nothing. They was all everybody mouth was open like I can't believe this nigga would. <laughs> and I looked at one dude right. He said, "Man, this nigga high." I was like, "Uh." And here come DJ and Love. I did my best. <laughs> Yo, that my nigga's music be my best every time. I looked at that nigga like I was from the crowd. I was like. And man. love be killing it with the fucking music. Oh man, and he got my ass to the same shit up town. Look at that. Yeah. Oh man, bro. When I tell you. I, I think I, I think I stayed. I think it was like right before the weekend too. I think I stayed in the bed like the whole weekend. <laughs> <laughs> when I came back, I was like, man, there ain't no way. Boy, I've been goddamn. I'm talking about. I'm talking about. I had a chip on my shoulder. Nard didn't say shit to you because yeah. normally talk shit. Nard talk shit, man. But you know, for some reason, man, Nard always had a took a liking for me, man, and he always treated me with respect, and he okay. he always had the utmost respect for me, man. Like. I don't give a fuck what it is. I don't care who fuck what it was. He was like, man, Ron, I know how good you can be and how good you is. Cause the second person who who I did comedy with, it was Zoo Man. Zoo Man's I a did Zoo Man with, with uh did comedy first with Zoo Man. First person I met doing comedy. Second second was uh Dirty South. That's when she was like, oh, okay, I'm taking you. Yeah, you, you know, you met some good folks. And then after that, Dirty South took me straight to Nard, Nard at Club Bolts. And you don't know you've never know been to club boats about. before, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. club boats is not a club for comedy, but it's set up perfect for, for comedy. comedy. Right. Just when the comedy people in there, mm -hmm. not when in that. Sounds about it, right? Yeah, man. It was it was a good stage, man. If you seen club boat stage, 
perfect. Right. For comedy. But them niggas like, what the fuck? He I, it, it was they was cool. I mean I ain't had my uh I ain't had my worst time until I hit Uptown and and uh Uptown and um and grown folks. Them the only two spots I, I feel like I ever did bad at. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. All right, so with today's social climate about how does it affect your comedy? Today's social oh my god. You know the cold quote unquote castle culture and if it does, is there any topic that you stay away from? Man, first of all, man, I got another podcast coming called Mr. Misogynistic. <clears throat> so you know I don't really give a fuck. Okay. All right. It Mr. is what it is. All right. Yeah, Mr. Misogynistic, I got the Kanye boys, and if you've seen the Kanye boys, you know it's like, nigga, look, hey, we gonna get, hey, we at least we gonna come out getting canceled. You know right. what I'm saying? You ain't finna let me get to the top and then cancel me. Nah, you finna do it flat out the gate. Right, 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 right. Yeah, man, but I think, I think far as what cancel culture is, it's mm -hmm. all enough if you give a fuck. Right. See, you see how it, it, it be with, like, with Lil Boosie. Mm -hmm. Like, you can say a lot about Lil Boosie, but his confidence is, it's like, he, he feel like he uncanceled. Like you can't cancel him. And when you feel like that, you know, th whatever you think, it, it becomes reality. Now, when you think people go, <clears throat> they gonna sound, they gonna sound and shoot. That's what's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, I got you. I got you. you know. So ain't nothing you stay away from. Pretty much, you say what you speak your fucking mind. That's yeah, it. I say rape, man. I, I stay away from rape jokes and shit. Like I don't so know that. Okay, rape jokes. Gotcha. Because it, it's sensitive to me. Because you know, uh, although a lot of women do say, uh, you know, Ron Dunn is. You know, you're misogynistic. It's really they feel like the hit dogs. Right. But any woman that ever been around me, uh, they would always tell you that I treat a I treat a woman like a woman. I don't even care if you a hoe. Like ain't nobody finna do nothing to you while right, I'm right there. Yeah. I say a lot, but at the same time, it's like I believe a man should. If 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 I feel like if somebody hits you, period, I don't care who it is. Like you should mush a little kid if they hit you. Right. Like they need to learn. You feel me? Right. But would I do it? No, Probably not. not. Right. You, should you slap the shit out of chick if she hit you? you yeah, you should. <laughs> you, you should have that option. <laughs> but would I do it? No, mm -hmm. because I I have other restraints for them. But it's it's a lot of dudes like we get the we a lot of people think men supposed to just know how to fight. I, I got news for y'all. A lot of these dudes cannot fight and they can't take a punch. And a lot of Facts. girls, if they don't fight you back, they gonna get whooped and they still gonna get the same effect. Facts. So like. I love women, man, but I don't take they shit, and I'm not gonna kiss their ass ever I'm in like life. A, I got it. I got it. Yeah. I dig it. All right, so this is a question. Uh, kind of curious here, what you gonna say? Who do you think now out, or maybe not out? It's the most underrated comedian. That that that's popping, or that's, just in general. It's in general. Comedian that you think people. Don't get he don't get the, the, the him he and she doesn't get the respect that they deserve but they're really brilliant on stage. Who's the most underrated comedian? You think? I'm a I'm a even though you people a lot of people probably disagree with me, <clears throat> but I think Martin is an underrated comedian. Lawrence? Yes. Okay. And I'm gonna tell you why. I think Martin is an underrated comedian because a lot of people uh, don't acknowledge what he done for the, the culture. Like, even when you talk about uh, doing what he wanted to do, oh, Martin, nobody made Martin put on, dress up like Shanae. He just felt like it was funny. He did it like that. Right. You feel me? Right. You know, and a lot of a lot of people, you know, are down the situation and whatever, whatever, but I feel like Martin is one of the only comedians that did what he wanted to do. You know, even with the Martin show and stuff like that. Like, I feel like Martin, his movies, you yeah. know, his earlier movies. Yeah, right, right. You know what right, I'm saying? Right. Talking Dirty After Dark was a movie that made me even want to do comedy. Gotcha. You know I what I'm saying? That one, right. But I think Martin Lawrence is 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 the GOAT to me. He's one of the greatest hosts of all time in my nah, mind. See, see, that's when people be saying he's the greatest host. I think I'm he's just one saying of the in best general, comedians. He's a great comedian. He's in my top five anyway. But yeah. I'm just saying, if you're going to host a show. Yeah, Martin. Martin like, Long. Why Oscars and none of them ain't hollering? My boy Martin Lawrence is is that dude. Like exactly. Like he vouched for you when you on that stage. Oh, you out of here. Yeah. So yeah, Martin's definitely he's already in my top five. Yeah. So yeah. Skinny yeah, Martin, man. man, not fat. Not Martin. fat Martin. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> not the one be like, hey, what are you about to do again? 
<laughs> That's Martin after he ran on the highway. That's the <laughs> type of Martin. Nigga. Like, ran, after he ran on the highway, he gave him hella weight. Nigga, like, look at that shit, depressed as fuck. Yeah, because I was bad as hell when he was a bad boy. I was like, bro, you ain't gonna do no action teams. He was like, hey, Mike, what's going on, Mike? I said, this man tired just saying Mike. Hell yeah. So who you think is the most overrated comedian? Overrated comedian. Mm. Overrated. That is a good question. Who's an overrated comedian? I think it's overrated. Um, uh, that I, let me see. Let me see. That's, that's a good one. Let me, give me one, two seconds. <laughs> like, who am I going to piss off? <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> who am I going to piss off? Um, uh, to be yeah. honest, man, don't get mad at me, man. But I would say Desi Banks. I've, I've seen snippets of it. I haven't seen this whole set. No, his voice is annoying to me, but I I I got it. Now, I like him as a as uh making his videos and stuff like Skits, that. I think yeah. he's hilarious. But as far as uh, his stand up, I I think I don't know. I I just don't feel like it's original. So got it. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna go with the uh, was not original to me. Got it. You feel me? I got you. I got you. All right. So. Another question I have. Uh, I think it's gonna be a question I want to hear. If you die tomorrow, God forbid, what comedian do you want to do your obituary, and who do you want to do the sermon for your funeral? K Dub. Which which one is he doing? Both. One, you want to do both? I want K Dub. If K Dub don't say something at my funeral, if K Dub ain't doing that at my funeral, just go ahead and cremate me and, <clears throat> and keep it moving. Okay. Okay. All right. So K Dub gets way. standing ovations at at, at, at funerals. K Dub is very funny. I'm gonna get him on the show one of these days too. For but real. to do it in the light of, like it just it just like pure comedy. Like I'm just giving him his flowers. Like like he's, he's K Dub is just like the purest comedian. That's fact. Like just because I'm a person who listens. You know right. what I'm saying? I am too. And I like the intellectual show. You're gonna be like, yeah, you got to dunk this shit down because it's crowded. I don't yeah. like that shit. And he he very he very intellectual. Right. You know what I'm saying? Very intellectual man and and like. I don't. I don't think. I would say him. I would say, he, I would say he don't get the credit that he's due to me. He don't. You feel That's me? Facts. In Atlanta, K-Dub, I think he does. I don't think he think maybe outside of. But I think Atlanta. He man, K Dub can sit there. If if they leave K Dub on stage, K Dub can just go, 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 go. Yeah, K Dub is K Dub definitely. Good. I remember when he was at uh, Dirty South funeral. I seen him at Dirty South funeral, man. He went up there, man. He brightened up everybody today, man. I was up there crying and everything. He, man, listen, he, he, my, I had my son there with me. Yeah, my son was like, man, dad, dad, this guy, now this guy is funny. Like, you know what I'm saying? He don't learn something from this guy. Yeah, my son, 10 years old, man. He, he said, yeah, dad, dad, this, now this guy is funny right here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know I do this Shout shit, Shout out right? to K-Dub, man. All right, I got you. Yeah. All right, so this is a new one, another new one I added to the thing. Um, Marry, fuck, kill. Mm-hmm. Whoopi Goldberg, yeah, Cheryl Underwood, mm-hmm. uh, Lunell. Okay. Uh, I'm marrying Whoopi Goldberg. Okay. All right. <laughs> That's interesting. Okay. Uh. Fucking kill. I think I'm a. I think I'm a fuck Lunell. Okay. <laughs> and I'm gonna kill Cheryl <laughs> Underwood. <laughs> I'm not fucking Wesley in the dress. <laughs> all right, all right. All right. And I love Whoopi Goldberg. I love Whoopi Goldberg. Okay, all right. I want them you people want that who look at Whoopi Goldberg. Like I just, I don't know. I, I find different things attractive. Okay. So it's like with Whoopi Goldberg, I just, it's just something about Whoopi Goldberg. Is it the locks? It's not the. I don't. I don't. It might be that. Okay. Okay. You know what I'm saying all might right. be. I don't know. Whoopi it might was be cold that. back in the day. The comic relief and all that shit. That's why I used to watch her, Billy Crystal, all some dumb, dumb type of shit. I used to watch and maybe go. I, I want to do that shit one day. Um, I like the way she carry herself today. I like the views that she speak on, like right. or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. I like her, the controversial moments that she had and how she stood against them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's hard to tear down Whoopi to the point where you you gonna be get like, oh she's depressed. She's in a Whoopi yeah. don't give a fuck. Yeah, you ain't gonna get and, the best and, of And Lou Nail just she don't give a fuck either. She don't give a fuck to the point where I just feel like like you know what I'm saying? I just feel like Lou Nail, Lou Nail, goddamn like if the lights off, I don't even like as long as I don't touch her. 
You know what I'm saying? I just let her do all the work, put my hand behind my head, and like pretend like Janet Jackson in the room or something. You know what I'm saying? Put some earphones on or something she like that. Put some earphones on. Yeah. Okay. But Nell seemed like she'd be a like a freak, freak man. You saw in the little. Uh, Fenty outfit, little Rihanna. I, I wouldn't look at it. Look, yeah, you, I only, I'm only answering she, this because that's all you gave, gave me. Yeah, I gave, I gave you those for intentional purposes. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <Autism>. <laughs> I'm a good, I'm a, I'm a team player, man. I like it. I like it. All right, so uh, last question, you last dollar, yeah, top five, the in town, dead or alive, yeah. you can go spend your last dollar on. Um, Robin, Robin, uh, Rob, Robert Harris. Okay. Yeah. Hey, man, kid. Yeah, that's my guy. Okay, yeah, that's one. I would spend my money. Yeah, how many? Five. Five. Top okay. five. Go see, spend my money. Go see him. Of course, I go see Dave Chappelle. Okay. Skinny Dave Chappelle though. I like muscular Dave. Though. I mean, I'm 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 rocking. The one with everybody Dave. say he clone, but you know whatever. Yeah, I'm talking about the, the original the one that. That, yeah, the original, the one that was on the Chappelle Killing show. Killing Me Woo! Softly, Dave. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That Dave Chappelle. Uh, original uh, Kevin Hart. Okay, he said original. One when he was talking about his family. We were talking about, yeah. All right, all right, Yeah, all right. that Kevin Hart. Okay. Of course, Mike Epps. Mike Epps, one of my favorite comedians. Right, that's four. Uh, that's four. Mm-hmm. And, uh... Oh yeah, Wanda Sykes. I'll go see Wanda Sykes. Mm. Okay, I think he's like the second person ever said Wanda Sykes. Yeah. Okay, that's what's up. All I just right. I just like her confidence. You like in, her new, her new show? A new, uh, I, I haven't seen it, but because I mean, with me doing comedy, bro, I'll be honest, I really don't really watch comedy like that. I haven't. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, my kids be watching people stuff and stuff like that, but <clears throat> I don't I don't really. It, it's like it's different, man. It's like I don't really watch other people comedy because I I don't be one when I'm on stage. I don't want nobody to say, "Oh, hey, he sound like such and such." Got you. You know what I'm saying? So I heard somebody say that. Yeah, yeah got you. like I don't really I watch comedy a little bit. Even when people I like be on stage, I watch them for a little bit. And I just walk off and do something else before I go on stage. I don't really listen to other people. I do that too. Yeah, yeah, I be in the back like I'm finna play basketball and shit. Yeah, I be in my zone. Niggas like, you ain't you anti-social. Like, before I get on, nigga, though, I'm on my headphones on, I'm in the corner. Yeah. After that shit, I could fraternize all day, but nigga, right now I'm in my box. I don't yeah. want to hear the crowd boo you. I don't want to see the dead silence. I don't want to see none of that shit throw me off my square. Yeah, that's what I said about I didn't tell you that on Wednesday. I was, she's like, you see, you are like, yo, just let me be. Go over there. Yeah. <laughs> let me. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Get in my, in my square, so. Get in yeah. your zone, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't absolutely. you hate when people try to talk to you when you clearly trying to get in your zone? And they see you, too. Yeah. Bitch, you see me isolating myself from this whole crowd in this corner. What do you think I'm doing this for? A nigga came and did, a nigga came and did jumping jacks in front of me, man. I'm like, what is you doing? <laughs> He's like, oh, I ran it down now. You gonna see me, dog. Ah, man, come on, man. You see, you gonna see me, dog. Yeah. <laughs> you gonna see me, man. I see you trying to get in your zone. <laughs> You an asshole for that, for, for real. Yeah, yeah, that's dumb as fuck. Yeah. All right, but you did a good job with those. All right, so we're going to talk about some of these topics, all right? All right, let's do it. All right, so we're talking about Kevin Hart. Mm -hmm. He's partnered with BT to bring back Comic View. Um, I think you got Mike Epps on there. Let's uh, Cara, <laughs> T.I. Uh, a lot of people are going to be uh, performing in a new first episode, pilot episode. What you think about that? Got some OGs and you got this uh, look here. newcomer. Let me say this, man. Which Common View ain't for a bunch of goddamn stars already, man. You know, you know what, man? Listen, man. I mean, let me just go ahead and, and, and take these goddamn. Let me take my shirt off, man. First of all, Kevin Hart is a big enough attraction to 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 sell that show itself. Mm. Why not put motherfuckers who up and coming who ain't in the door yet? Right. All Why right, not right. let them come through the door? You know what I'm saying? Like, why not do it like that? And I'm not trying to hate on nobody or nothing like that, but it's just, when it comes to us as a people, it's like it's two different blacks. But you know, when, when people want to be all the way black, they say, 
uh, yeah, uh, uh, it's our people, our people, our people, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, y'all know all these people, these su superstars that we just named. Mm -hmm. They all got somebody who they know is grinding and trying need need exposure. Absolutely. So why why would you do a super show with them when they can all have their own platforms Absolutely. separately? They all and it can be more sales, right? more black comedy put on. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I feel like ultimately. I don't think that I don't think that they're allowed to do that. You know what I'm saying? They because they draw. Yeah, that, I don't think they're allowed to do that. I don't think they have the they don't have the power that uh, somebody like like Tyler Perry has. You know what I'm saying? But like, it's on BET. That's why it, sh it should be able to. Yeah. You got Kevin Hart's production yeah. and and Tyler Perry. Tyler, they should be able to say, let's take a risk on some newcomers. Yeah, you're right. You know what I'm saying? It's you not like they're going to. I don't know, fucking ABC or some shit. Yeah, that would make that would make the shit. Like, man, listen here, man. Uh, who we got? Who we got? Um, <clears throat> we got go go state to state. Right. It's some people who ain't get don't get the exposure. That's killing shit. You feel me? It's some good comedians out there. When we when we start building, you know what I'm saying? Like uh, in entertainment, right? We always complain about. Uh, they don't get this person a shot. Yep. So y'all already got y'all shot. Right. So go look for people to give them shots. That you uh, look. I'm vouching for you. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. Hey, we, we. Hey, come on. Whatever. Whatever. How about you do that? You can have those people there. Right. You know the Ti's and all this. You had those folks there. You feel me? But make sure. And I. And listen. I'm gonna go back because. Who knows what, what type of junk? Maybe they just trying to sell it with those faces. Right, initially. But if the show come out and all they doing is is premiering the the superstars that's already there, that's not Comic View. Right. Comic View, all them people that was on Comic View, they wasn't on. You know what I'm saying? They they got on through Comic View or and Def Jam and all that. Yeah, Def Jam up, and stuff like that. People, they, yeah. It was up and coming. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So a lot of the comedians that we see, you know what I'm saying? Today, who you know they came up. Oh, uh, Ice Cube. Everybody who who did Ice Cube jump, mm -hmm. all the comedians who did Ice Cube uh, did Friday. Yeah, you know they 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 got more than what they got paid. You know what I'm saying? They got exposure. We, we would probably wouldn't knew who uh, Cat Williams was. AJ if it Johnson. For, yeah, yeah, we wouldn't knew who a lot of these dudes was. Facts. If it wasn't for Ice Cube. Right. That's facts. That's facts. You know what I'm saying? But don't have don't have the new comic view. Just a whole uh, red carpet event. Right. That that's take that's that you you know what I'm saying? Take like, away pretty it. much. Cutting us off again. That's facts. That's facts. That's facts. All right, I give you that. Um, you know, uh, Vanna White, right? Yeah. Vanna White. From, she's uh, from Will, Will of Fortune. Fortune. She said she's gonna leave Will of Fortune unless they make her at least half of what Pat Sajak gets paid. Pat Sajak makes fifteen million a year. Mm -hmm. She said if I don't get at least half of that, I'm dipping on the fucking show. I do most of the work. I walk up and down this bitch, she turn a little. What she? What she, she look seven. like? What she, she look like? She, she still she cute. She's an older white lady. I mean, she's an older white lady, but how, she, how does she look? She plastic surgery, right? It don't um, matter cute. if she plastic, because Pat Sajak got plastic surgery, too. I mean, she's straight. Does she look good? Like, do, like when you see Vanna White, do you still get it? Like, man, I, I hit Vanna White. Uh, you don't get that no more? Uh, get rid of her. <laughs> get rid of her. <laughs> you can't demand stuff after, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, like, you know, like, we can get, we can replace you. We can really replace you, Vanna White. Like, I mean, we can. You feel me? You know how they want to make everything uh, black now, anyway. Yeah. Should Pat Sajak mess around and get one of them them city girls <coughs> on them? <laughs> no, I gotta walk shit. up and down again. Yeah. Nigga. Well, how about we ghetto up they shit? Let's go ghetto up they shit. Let send them over there. Send an atomic bomb. My pussy pink. <laughs> my booty whole brown. Go take go take her over there. She take Vanna White's spot. Oh my God, that should be crazy. Then Steve Harvey gonna take Pat Sajak. <laughs> oh, Steve Harvey leave that motherfucker show that good. Hey, uh, Steve Harvey. <laughs> hey, look here, Vanna White. He, uh, you, you fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Steve Harvey taking over anyway. He, he's taking over everything. Yeah, yeah get on man, the fire Vanna White, man. Talk yeah. asking for that and you depleted. It's over with for you. Hell no. All right, so they got health professionals are being urged to use the term bonus holes when referring to vaginas in order to avoid offending transgender or non-binary <laughs> patients according to daily mail and uh you know people <laughs> up in arms so naturally born women can no longer it's gonna i don't know if it's gonna catch on but y'all gotta call them bonus holes you can't you can't call it Panani, vagina, none of that shit, because we don't want the transgenders to get upset. 
Can't call it pussy. We gonna call it pussy hole. <laughs> it is derogatory and offensive for hey. those who were not born with that. Well, let's just hope uh, Bootsy is uh, the doctor when they go. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck all that. Put your pussy on this platform. <laughs> Put it on the table. For a thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah, that's just crazy. Put your crazy. pussy and lips on live. I give a thousand dollars. Yeah, that's just crazy. Yeah, man. Yeah, that Naturally is Naturally born women are going to be distinct in like 10 years. But see, I blame, listen, I blame women, though. Wow. Let me tell you why I blame women. Let me tell you why I blame women, man. Because why, uh, you know, why these folks was trying to take their place, they didn't even recognize it. They were still on our ass, acting like we, we was the problem. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, uh, why? You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you know, you got this motherfucker tagging along. We like, nah. Ah, why am I? Like, they was vouching for him. They was bringing yeah. them around straight dudes. They was, they really made them, you know, they really pushed. Yeah, so it's like, you can't stop at us fighting in MMA. Right. Once you open up Pandora's box, you don't know what the hell gonna pop out. Then they, so, they take away y'all sports and all that shit. There you go. So I don't feel bad for it. I don't feel sorry for them either. Like, you know what? Hey, hey, look, you said that was a girl. Right. Now fight that motherfucker. I can't hit that's a girl. <laughs> I can't hit no girl. Right. You know what I'm saying? Now you got to fight uh you gotta fight Tayshun. <laughs> you gotta fight uh Tayquisha, whatever. Right. Yeah, you gotta fight it on your. You can't call me. Call your homegirls. Y'all gotta jump. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta race her. You gotta race her and all that kind of shit. You gotta swim against her. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. It is I'm, what it is. I'm. Listen, man. Hey, I'm not calling nothing no bonus hole. That's too many words. It really is. That's, there's nothing sexy about that. Too. Exactly. Like what you mean, like calling the chick? Hey, yeah, yeah. Hey, what's up, baby? I'm finna come tear tear that bonus hole up. <laughs> hey, when that when I'm done with that bonus hole, <laughs> look here. <laughs> yeah, that's great. That bonus, listen, that bonus hole about to get spent. <laughs> Hell no, that's too much words, like you said, for real. Yeah, it don't, it don't, it don't. It don't hit right. It don't hit right at all. Um, yeah. So he said customers are furious over the pre-boarding scam that allows able-bodied passengers to employ wheelchair assistants to take advantage of pre-boarding. This is on uh, American Airlines. A viral tweet shows passengers who are potentially faking disabilities with 20 or uh, using at least 20 wheelchairs assistance to board the plane before other groups do. It mm -hmm. was suggested that 17 of those quote unquote disabled didn't need the service once they got off the plane. Um, I don't know, I feel like that's a Caucasian move. You think so? Yeah, Caucasians always use shit to get ahead, man. So 20 of them got wheelchairs and then 17 of them was like, yeah, I'm good and walk right the fuck off. <laughs> We here in Miami, we good niggas. Isn't that what America is about? Skin. Isn't that what the United States is about? Listen, the United States is all about getting over. <laughs> That's it, man. <laughs> That's it, man. You know I ain't gonna lie, I used, to, I used to, I did that shit when I was on dialysis. Hey. I did that shit when I went to Disney World. Bro. But I actually was sick, but nigga, wheelchair me. Yeah. I was going through all the rides, three times a piece, and I was talking to niggas like, damn, you still online, bro? That shit fun in the yeah. motherfucker. Wait till you get to that shit. It's my third time, by the way. I, Today. I, I be mad when the fat people get the uh, the, the disabled carts at Walmart, man. Like, motherfucker, you, you, you anybody need to walk is you. <laughs> Right. right, you know what I'm saying? Like this shit started way before the plane. Like let's not stop at the plane. Like that's facts. Your fat ass walking around here with your elephant ankles. Yeah. Put it right in the basket. Yeah, and getting off, <laughs> getting off. Don't you hate how fat people be trying to have a face on them? Like you should feel sorry for them. Maybe like <laughs> with the oxygen mask on. No, nigga, you need to walk that shit off. Man. Exactly. You, you in Walmart mask. for some fucking pop tarts, and you need to be over there with the treadmills. So yeah, you are you right? You right? But this start with that little chip shit. You didn't buy a treadmill worth of food in your basket. <laughs> <laughs> On that little ass. Bought a treadmill. Hell you can no. miss some meals. You sure the fuck can. Yeah. You sure the fuck can. Mm -hmm. But them folks on the plane, they just you know they just getting over man like America always do. Um, they said McDonald's has launched a two hundred thirty five dollar wedding package that includes a hundred boxes of McNuggets. If you go to a wedding. And part of the meal, after they said I do's and shit, you at the reception, mm -hmm. and everybody get their own box of nuggets. Fuck you doing? Hey, if uh, who's getting married is uh, my my girl Sexy Red, goddamn it, it might be popping. <laughs> That's what you do. She don't want to have that at her wedding. pink, my booty hole brown. Like I'm telling you, she would yeah. like that. Barbecue sauce. Yeah. Sweet yeah. and sour sauce. They be eating them shits with no shoes on. Dre <laughs> <laughs> is doing the best. 
I like her because she said Dre is doing the best. Oh, that's why you fuck with her like that. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Second time mention. That's why she she get it. That's yeah. okay. All right, yeah. B. I'm I'm Sukiana nasty ass. She, you she, want to see like Sukiana? She just crazy. That bitch be saying shit. She definitely you know clout chasing. If I had a face, it'd be her. Yeah. Everything she says is solely for the attention. And then when niggas call out on the show, test her. She like yeah. I was just playing. I ain't even like, like nah, bitch. You put that out there. Now niggas want to know. If you like, really got to like, get peed on. Now a nigga can walk up and you just kiss me in the mouth but in front of everybody. Porn? You didn't see her porn? I did. I, I saw it once I, I, I heard it was impressed. trending. I wasn't, I wasn't impressed. Oh, she and, did was squirted she, everywhere. She squirted. That squirt looked like it had goddamn bacterial infection in it. It had to be it pissed. And if it was... But her piss was like kind of yeah, like... Shot across it the looked room. like it would burn. It looked like it would burn a gremlin. Like like acid type shit? Man, that shit looked like she drunk Dr. Pepper the whole time. Then. <laughs> <laughs> No like she she burnt her acrylic off her fingernails. <laughs> Hell no, nah, Suki. I don't know. You need to keep that pussy to yourself. Yeah, we, everybody went straight to Twitter when you said that shit. Yeah, that's the that's the hub for everything. Porn, yeah. real good on porn. Poor baby sold her soul and shit. She did. Yeah, you she still did. haven't seen her? How? How you keep missing it? She's not my cup of tea, man. I don't like. I don't like. Like I just feel like. Um, I feel like if a motherfucker kiss sexy red in the mouth, she ain't finna. She ain't even finna. Play the victim game. She like, I know what I. She's like, nigga, I'm a I know, hoe. I know what I. I respect for. that. Like, I respect that. You feel me? Like, I really respect that. Like, I respect how hoeish that she. Like, she don't care. She not like, If you to don't care. care about being a hoe, I'm cool with you being a hoe. But if you like, well, men do it. Then you don't want really want to be no hoe. You just trying to. You just wish you had a dick. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? If you're gonna be about your thoughtism, be about your thoughtism. And embrace your shit. Yeah, and she just like it's just still a mystery because she ain't had no porn yet. Now, Sukiyan, I'm like, yeah, I can tell. Sexy like, red skinny and shit. Oh, little bitch is like an ant. I like skinny. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Slim chicks. That's. <laughs> she walking this bitch. Shouts out. Like a grasshopper. Hey, shouts out to my boo. Okay. <laughs> she slim too. Okay. All right. All right. You stay to keep. Slim too. Don't get in trouble. All right. So talking about your boo, you heard about the Adam Twenty Two nigga, right? Yeah. Who let some porn star run up in his wife? Well, how? Nah, he let some baby chasing. leg run up in his wife. That, was a big leg. that nigga made. That nigga put a he's whole. A, he's a well-known porn star. That nigga put twenty-two. <laughs> that nigga put. <laughs> that nigga put a whole child in that nigga wife, man. <laughs> he, he watched the recording, which is crazy. He but some cockle shit. But that's some white people shit, though. You know, white people do shit, man. You know how many times I've been asked. Uh, just by my appearance, I've been asked by white dudes, hey, but dude, yeah, hey, dude, I'll let you fuck my wife. I'm like, bro, you don't get the fuck out of my face, man. Wow. Hey, dude, I'll let you fucking, fucking, I'll fucking let you fuck my wife. It's like, no, bro, like, nah, you can send her over. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not finna fuck the nigga wife in front of you, right? <laughs> You're like, oh, I want to watch. Just send her through, and I send it back to you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, nope, that's not the deal. I want to watch. Yeah, man, watch. but but man, all that extra freaky ass shit. I feel like you know, if 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 that's if he can take it, they made they made they built for each other. You feel me? You know, everybody relationship not gonna be the same. Some people are swingers and shit like that. Me personally, based yeah. off of you know me as a man, I ain't doing this. Uh, men, we 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 a man has to be have have uh, be dominant in some form of fashion. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So if. Let's say my my wife. I'm like, yeah, hey, sure, you can go ahead and you know take take uh, 95 inches of dick. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Let them, like, hey, fuck an arm. Shit, let them put that let them put that baby leg up in you. Oh, that's a double baby leg. Yeah, yeah cool. <laughs> if 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 me and her are that freaky ass couple like that, I would have to be cool with it. But me. Bitch, if, if 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 all you wanna do is do different type of sex ass shit, I ain't the nigga to be with. I mean, we can do it together. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And, and you know, and and I don't. I'm not even really even a, a threesome type of dude. Which you know, if, let's say if if, I, if I'm with a chick, if I'm with a chick, and you know what I'm saying, she wanna bring a chick in. The, in if, if it's that important to her, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, cool. But that wouldn't be my request. Right, right, right. It right. wouldn't be a good birthday gift for me. Now, uh -huh. if she was like, well, for my, I want to do this, I want to, whatever. <clears throat> it can only be one knife, but we can bring, we can bring another pizza in the motherfucker. We can slice up another, I can slice up two pizzas. Right. 
I don't need two knives to slice up a piece. I got you. I got you. Another nigga coming this motherfucker. It's like nah, nah. This is a competition. Right. <laughs> saying yeah, it. Very much so. Yeah, like, and then you gonna, gonna watch look you in the eye, like. You gonna watch it too? This nigga know you got a wife. I mean, you. This nigga know you got a a, a, a husband. He know you got. So while he looking in the camera, he like. Mm, man, on. Oh, nigga. And you holding like the camera, that? trying not to cry. But according to him, she's watched him fuck a hundred women before, and this is no big deal. This is just. This is what she wanted. But the bitch said I was down for three or four days. I was sober three or four days. He said, and your pussy snapped right back. Like it was nothing, it wasn't, you know. He's saying that shit, he lying. That nigga. She, she sat in some hot tea or something like that. Some, she did something. Yeah. But still, goddammit, the nervous system is still ruptured. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, for real, like, uh, he gonna know when he hitting it and she like, deeper. And now he gotta put his pelvis in. <laughs> he got put. He got to fold his body up and <laughs> put, stick his body in there. Like fist the shit out of it. Yeah, he gonna know. He gonna know yeah. the shit, man. Sex shouldn't be like if you in a relationship with a woman, right? And the sex, it, it's always she's unhappy with sex. Mm -hmm. You need to send her to the streets. Yeah. Women are like all this extra shit. Women doing with roses and all that. It, those compartments wasn't meant to be opened up. Right. You feel me? Right. It wasn't meant to be like that. You ain't supposed to. Uh, have your clitoris like some of them clitoris goddamn damn you, you pull the pants mangled. down that motherfucker just looking like ah, I'm so tired of people messing with me <laughs> oh what is that is that a real one they don't even know no more yes sir it's like a real vein to me yeah yeah and then they catching ovarian cancer from that shit they they getting fibroids that shit. it's a lot of health risks that come with all that shit but you can't tell women nothing women think they right all the time right. so they say what well, nah y'all just y'all just insecure that's their favorite word. Yeah. You fucking right, I'm insecure. You put a whole microphone stand in your pussy. <laughs> and just a little ass rose, I think you come in 10 seconds. Now, I, I feel like dudes need to stop trying to, trying to fight the insecurities. You Embrace made me insecurity, insecure. You went in Starship and you got the biggest deal though you possibly can find. It ain't that my dick small. This all I got. Right. <laughs> Bitch, you got the 15 inch, yeah, 15? super fucking dick with a goddamn USB port and Bluetooth. Yeah, I <laughs> motherfucker like, plays music. Nigga got a fire hydrant. Do this shit, nigga do extra shit. That nigga put a totem pole in this chick and, and now I'm supposed to go behind that. Right. You insecure. Was she waving this shit in your face. You go, you such insecure nigga. Yeah, I'm bitch. insecure fucking cure because you fuck a whole uh, it wasn't a baby leg. You fucked a human leg, bitch. <laughs> and now I'm supposed to be like, <laughs> she fucked a whole human leg. Like, what the hell are you fucking a ham hop? <laughs> you, you need all that? The pussy ain't even built like that. Real talk, you just looking for pain. Like, where did all that dick even go? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, where did it go? Like, crazy. Yeah. Into, some fucking some elephant into trunks into. and shit. I'm supposed to be secure with that. <laughs> yeah, shit ain't never to say about that. Shit, watching a girl give birth to a baby be like, my shit ain't nothing. <sighs> they don't understand Stop what with that go ah, shit. Bro. Stop it, nigga. I was watching you push this fucking 10 pound baby yeah. out. Ooh, ah, you're killing me. Hey, six weeks ago, this little nigga that was sucking your titty just came out. Now, when I <laughs> Cut see it out. When I seen a baby come out the coochie, bro, listen, I listen, I knew I had to listen to silk songs <laughs> and, and R and B music and make sure my rhythm was together. I knew I had to find shit in the coochie after that. Beforehand, nigga was just do, 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 do. After I after I seen that shit, I was like, you know what, I got to find yeah, shit in that motherfucker. Yeah, that like uh, what the fuck? What am I doing? Never the same. What am I doing? She had a whole baby, and look, my, look at my head. My children' head is they is humongous. I got I got kids with big heads too, so I get it. But that's all I'm like, yeah, that shit ain't never the same. Man, that shit came out that motherfucker, bro. That shit. Oh my god. I was like, how? Hell All that man. shit you was lying to me about, talking about, oh, oh, mm -hmm. I'm feeling in my stomach. No, you didn't. Six, eight babies come out of pussies and snap back. Not all of them. No, no, nah, no. Nah. Nah. We all had some pussy beforehand. Ain't never snap. Oh, it ain't snap the same afterward. It, it, it's wetter, but it ain't like the the, right. the 
Come on, elasticity man. ain't the same no more. The, the, it's like take, it's like they take the catcher's mitt out the motherfucker. It had a catcher's mitt in it at first. You, who wore my underwear? All in the right. Yeah. Was all in the catch it's mitt. more like a raw hand after that. Right. <laughs> You know how you shit stretched out like a wizard sleeve and yeah, shit? This yeah. bitch just dangling like God. Yeah, bitch, yeah. you wore the fucking who am I underwear and got to put y'all put the shit back in the drawer. Nah, no, shit ain't right. It don't Man. fit right no more. Look at this. And most black women don't kegel. Sure don't. They don't do that shit. Like, I mean, it's ways that they could, but, you know, for some reason, man, we, we didn't train our women just to uh, say stuff like, you just take me the way I am. Like, they don't give a fuck about how we feel about nothing. Take me at my worst, or don't take me at all. But yeah. soon as soon as okay. y'all break up, she'll she'll get she'll get a six pack and, and ride another nigga dick. Right. Like Mimi, uh, uh Stevie J, uh, baby mama. Oh, oh. Yeah, they they do stuff like that, man. Women, oh. man, women full of man. I listen, man. I love women to death, bro. But they they full of shit, bro. Facts, facts, facts. You know what I'm facts. saying. All right, you got a uh, Burger King in Thailand. In Thailand, has a unique new. New offering that they're labeling the real cheeseburger. The sandwich contains no meat, and but it lacks where it lacks in the meat department. It makes up for an abundance of American cheese. It has 20 slices of stacked cheese, and the burger is not uh, for the lactose intolerant. Obviously, the burger sells for about $11, which averages to about 55 cents per slice of cheese. So absolutely no meat on it. Bun, sesame seed bun, 20 slices of fucking cheese. Uh, so I'm supposed to pay eleven dollars for a grilled cheese sandwich? All the quest. and it's not grilled. It's just eat. laid on it. It's literally just laid. Cheese is laid out. I don't even eat meat, and I won't eat that. <laughs> I'm a vegetarian, and I would not eat that shit. Like why? Why would you waste cheese like that? <laughs> so why? Who said this is a this is brilliant? What cokehead came up with that? In Thailand. Thailand. Yeah, they got some good cocaine in Thailand, and. He took too much of it. Or yeah. he was high as hell. He was a little big motherfucker. A, a cheese sandwich, man. A you cheese want, waffle. A super cheese sandwich. You want some of this shit? I got a bunch cheese of slices of cheese. Man. And you said that's at shit. McDonald's? Burger King. Burger King? Yeah, Burger King been doing dumb ass shit like making a taco. They did. Then they have, uh, they had the fucking uh, LBGQ uh, colored buns and shit. I would not eat that sweet ass bun. Yeah, <laughs> colored buns and shit. And then the niggas said they was offended by the colors. So, it's like, y'all didn't, didn't talk to nobody from the community to see it was okay first? I'm glad they didn't do a Juneteenth burger. That shit would have been black Ooh. as a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> it's burning. Been like a Jamaican flag. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> yeah, the whole shit black motherfuckers would not. That, that, that's why I be trying to tell people, man. It's, it's, hard, it's hard to promote Juneteenth. It is. It's hard. It is. And yeah. Everybody get it off. Yeah. Shouldn't be that way. You said everybody get what? Everybody get it off, and I said it shouldn't be that way. So you think so, so you think only some people should get off for of Juneteenth? Man. <laughs> Even when niggas be celebrating single to my, I'm like, why? It's not for you. Man, well, y'all niggas want alcohol, I get it. It's for mm -hmm. me. Fuck yeah. that. I, it be some shit is mad to the motherfucker. Them niggas still outside cutting lawn and, and getting oranges and all that shit on their day. Yeah. Still working. We out here like, no, single to my, I'm not coming in. You know, we ha we like to uh, I got like some tequila waiting on me. We the people who celebrate when we ain't supposed to celebrate. We right. ain't winning shit. Right. I'm going to tell y'all that right now. Black people, y'all probably mad at me, but nigga, we not winning a motherfucking thing. Every time they give us something, guess what? S guess who behind it? Oh, we got a oh, we got a uh, a black little mermaid. Oh, really? She she chasing out the white dude though. We lose. Oh man, Black Panther. A white dude made Black Panther. But y'all ain't watched the real Black Panther movie that Mario Van Peebles made. Mm -hmm. Y'all forgot about that, but y'all talking about some, oh, 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 Wakanda. Wakanda don't exist, dumb motherfuckers. <laughs> Wakanda does not exist, you stupid dashiki wearing motherfuckers. <laughs> it don't exist. So all this shit is just is this dumb ass. Uh, it's pretty much a bunch of it's like a picnic. Mm -hmm. We know what the picnic symbolizes, right? But people, oh, man, we had picnic, barbecue, and all that. Nigga, you was the barbecue, right? <laughs> that shit symbolizes. Nigga, that's why they be burning that shit. They was cooking your ass, right? Nigga, I, I want the burnt pieces. Yeah, let, give me that burnt nigga right there. Ah, oh, this nigga's good. <laughs> they was cooking the retarded niggas, man. <laughs> For real, they was cooking retarded niggas. And they was no good for nothing, nothing but, but meat. I was like, shit, this retarded nigga, he can't do nothing. He can't, he can whatever. Prime rib, I got one right here. You see, we used to be 6'5". 
Now look at him. Yeah, look at him. He got one bad foot. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're going to eat that That's nigga. Hell yeah. Yeah, man. Arby's, anybody? Yeah, man. <laughs> listen, man, listen, man. I'm not even... <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm not, I'm not no even. Anybody. I'm not even. I don't even be on that no more. Like I don't. Like I understand that you know pretty much. Hey, it, it, it might be a lost cause. Man, listen. We, we might be a lost cause, but to I'm no gonna tell y'all. For too long. Man, I'm telling you, bro. They got this shit sold up like a goddamn. <laughs> they got this shit sold up like. Oh man, they got it sold up like Miss Mary Mac. <laughs> you stupid. Uh, Whatever that shit she had, all dressed it's in black. black. They got black. that shit. They got this shit sold up, man. Hell no. All right, I got this last one. An entrepreneur is going viral, black mm -hmm. woman, for inviting all of her ex boyfriends mm -hmm. and every guy she's ever dated and their new girlfriends to support her new ice cream shop in Atlanta. The name yeah. of the ice cream shop is called Mixins. Yeah. How gangsta you have to be to say, hey, every nigga I ever fuck with. I need you to come support my shit and bring your girl and yeah. your wife too. Fuck, them bitches like ice cream and all of them in one location. And all of them came. Would you have went? No. I would have went. That's a lot of fucking answering I got to do. Who the fuck is this bitch again? Uh, babe, don't ask no questions. We ain't cool, we go back. Bitch, if you wait for me to support you, you're going to be broke. Right. <laughs> it depends on why y'all broke but up. No, but then, what are you coming in? There's like 50 niggas in there. Now you're looking like... Damn, like which one was I? What, I was like, which one? Right. That's what I'm saying. You don't know. You just coming in to see. Who the fuck? Who the fuck up? Right, that's what I'm saying. That's the shit that's gonna fuck your ego. I'm like, hold the fuck up. Because for her to even do that, she had to have a lot of people. Like, if I, if she, I had like, if I had like 10. She's chasing 10, the bag. Like, she knew what the bag was gonna be. Like, she started, she started mathing. Yeah. Like, yeah, I got about 16 of them niggas been there, and they bring, they got kids too. They bring their kids. Man, the, the, listen, man, that, that's a, that's good marketing strategy on her end, but it's, I just feel like, man, our people uh, have no no soul no more. That, that used to be what stood out of, about us. Us having a, a soul, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, soul singers, you can't even have soul singers no more because there ain't no souls. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, what happened to, you know, a tramp? Remember this college year? She's a tramp. The tramps had to be over there. No, no, now, they, now, they, now they got a ice cream shop. Not with the cookie pig and booty hole brown. Right, right, right. right. But see, but see, let me, let me take up for Tasty Red again. She's honest. This girl, she wasn't honest to them people because they they probably really thought, man, yeah, man, she, shawty, you know what I'm saying? And she coming Until they that. start talking to each other. Yeah. So, so how you know? How you know Veronica? Oh, I used to. Yeah, I used to. I used to fuck with her. Huh? Used yeah. to. You used too? to. When? When you used to fuck with? Oh yeah, I mean, I, me and my wife had a threesome with her. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure. Cause niggas gonna start doing. You, you was with her around what time? Yeah, I was fucking with her around oh. this time. Oh, where? Yeah, she had five of us at the same time. That's what I'm saying. That's the hell of a bold move. pH balance is off like a retard. That's a lot of dick in one Hey man, they giving it up, man. They giving it up too much. It's a bold ass move, and you got your lady there, so now they listening to y'all conversations. Mm. Nah, I feel sorry. That bitch trying to get her damn shit torn up on the first opening day. The ladies, the ladies with the guys are giving her high five. You think so? You said the ladies that's with the guys. Yeah, they giving her high five. Yeah, because know. subconsciously women all play for the same team. That's why I, that's yeah, why I don't like this women me. unity shit. And it's fake too. But I don't but like when when your woman cheats on you, she can tell her friends. But her friends are not gonna be hold her accountable, right? Man, like she could tell other people friends and they won't tell her. Other people friends are women, not and not and then that's why I'm telling you, that's why you that's why you'll never know unless you just find out. That's why when shit happens. You gotta trust your spirit. Right? Relationships that break up with women all say, What you do? I'm like, bitch, why I got them to do something? Because you train to be the bad guy. What, what you do to help? You her train to, do to that? be the bad guy. What? And when you a good man, listen, a good man, a good man, right? A good man will always be critiqued. Facts. The worse of a man that you are, the less critique you get. The, 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 they're expecting you to be bad. Yeah, right. no, so they be daddies. Be better, you do it like you do a little something better. Mm. Yeah. That's a kudos. They be daddies good. are, uh, they be daddies represent us. <laughs> right. That's who represent us. Right. Think about it. You, it's energy. Yeah. If anytime you sit around a woman and you speak of a man doing good, she gonna say that's good because these other niggas. Right. Why are you even talking about, about the other niggas? niggas? Right. We talk. We in the presence of good niggas right now. We talk about good nigga shit. And then when you break it down, this how this how, this why logic is always needed. When you break it down, 
the women are all, they always wrong. They wrong about the bad father. It's more. It's listen. It's more. Even with the uh, the, the they talking about the, the when they see a black man with a white girl. It's way more black men with with uh black men with black women than mm -hmm. it is black men with. They think that's a problem. Right. It's not. And they they just looking. They just looking to people who they see they got money. Right. You feel me? Mm -hmm. But you wouldn't build based off of what black people been through. Our women when they have money, they supposed to build with a man who ain't got it like that. You feel me? They supposed to do that. You know what I'm saying? We supposed to always help each other. But when they get money, they like, hey, <laughs> nigga, mm, I'm still not paying. They about to match my energy. Why? For what? Why would you be so selfish? If it's not that many good men that would, that niggas that got money, why would you take one that could help her? Yeah. Why would you take a man that that you you already got money? Why would you take a man that 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 got money? Why would y'all run off in the sunset when this girl right here need him? Because I ain't trying to build no nigga. Yeah, I ain't trying to build no nigga because they going to leave us. Yeah, you crazy as hell you think I'm going to leave you. What I'm going to leave you for? If it's like that, you saw a black woman supposed to always support. That's why I fuck with that slutty vegan girl. Keita Funny Mama says that. What up, Keita? Keita Funny Mama says not in, not up north. There's way more black men with white women. Really? I bet. I bet statistically. I bet it's so whoever did the statistics is. is I bet it's, it's the opposite. You always can make survey statistics and surveys slanted with the way you want it to slant. All you gotta do is ask. With certain people. With certain people, when you can be like five, five people. Yeah. How many white women and black men together? And they in, in, if I say ten of them and nine of them say a lot. Yeah. That's ninety-five percent. Right. Man, nice. most most right. black men are with black women. And most black men take care of their children. Yeah, that's true. I'm to the best them. of their ability. So it's period. like I say, period. They yeah, take I care. yeah, they I gonna take care of their kids, right. but when they really want to, and it be bullshit. They get in the way, but I don't know. I don't even hang around niggas. That don't take care of their kids. Yeah. Like, man, that's my. Yeah. That's how I am, character wise. Let me hear you to be like, yeah, she got the kids all the time. So you don't be having your kids no time. You don't get them on birthdays. I don't know their birthdays like that. You don't know your birthdays. Like, who the fuck? It's yeah, I, like that. Bro, it's a lot of them. nigga must got a lot of kids. I knew the one dude who got like 16 kids. Yeah. But, and he said on his birthday. But, all right, granted. But at least he's around for his kids. Like, he has custody of 14 out the, out the 16. But Damn. niggas like, that don't really like fuck with their kids like that. Oh, man, let's go out. I got my kids this weekend. You always got your kids. Because I'm a dad, nigga. Like, what the fuck? I'm a father. I really enjoyed that title over all other titles. Yeah. Comedian, any of that shit, friend, brother. This dad shit, I hold that shit down. Like, you, you're a female, you come around me, and you ain't, like, you know, fuck with my kids like that. What the fuck you around for? Like, you, you married? Yeah, I'm separated, but yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah man, she threw that in. Yeah, I'm separated. That bitch, yeah. I can still fuck some hoes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Man. But yeah, I mean, just in general, like, my kids is important to me. Right, right. Everything's built around them. my work schedule, yeah. my comedy schedule, all that shit's built around a show. Like, this is what I'm doing it for. Yeah. So why would I compromise or act like, you know, they 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 second to everybody else? Yeah. You gotta be looking at people like, so you, you put that motherfucker before your kids? Like, even when women do that? Yeah. Nah, I'm gonna put that say the women, the say the women you fuck with when you broke are not the same women you fuck with when you got money. It depends on who you are. It depends on who you are as a person. You feel me? No matter what. Hey, listen. I'm a spiritual individual, so I I I I, I very much pick mine based off of that. You feel me? So it's like shit. I didn't talk to women who got kids. I didn't talk to women who don't got kids. Women who got money. Who women who don't got money. All that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, only time I was worried about that was when I was homeless. <laughs> I said, well, I don't, don't. Hey, uh, bitch, uh, you got a place to stay. <laughs> hey, uh, we might can do something. Yeah, men don't do the same thing as women. Do we not out here looking at women like, oh, like I say all the time, oh, you could be with a chick, she lose her job, and you ain't pressed like, oh my God, you lost your job. You gotta get the fuck out of here. How long yeah. you got? A nigga got a time clock on his ass, no matter how good the dick is, uh, the I, max this nigga got is six months. I would beg to differ. You know, you think a nigga can say it's that? Some, it depends on the woman. It's some women, bro. Listen, it's some, some women. Who will ride it out with you? It's some. It's some women who. Shit. This what a like, woman. This what a woman's like, job is right here, right? If I lose my job, right? If I lose my job, and my woman sit back and say, "So what you gonna do now?" She ain't the one for me. 
your woman's supposed to uh, push your, your woman is listen man that's they they god given aura is hey, baby even if she gotta fill out the application, she gotta on, get you go out right. that slumper, bro. Yep, so if she ain't gonna do that, what what is you you ready to die for a woman that wouldn't do that for you? Yeah, she you call me playing play PlayStation every damn thing. She come on, she work. See that exactly. type of shit. Like, I could never be that type of guy. I be seeing that shit like, damn, bro, you don't I even try to. Money yeah, you don't want to really go. You're like, nah, you know she got me. She holding me down, like, bro. What if Oprah was your woman though? Could you do that then? <laughs> now we have that's, that's, four billion and seventeen hundred thousand. Right, <laughs> yeah. I gotta do something. Stephen, right, gotta, Stephen looking like uh, Stephen do something. I know he's a this, professor, wasn't he? Yeah, he, he's a lawyer. He, he's a lawyer. See, yeah, yeah he, he, I'll be her lawyer. Hey, Oprah, uh, we deserve more money as her lawyer. I, I, I think. She hey, does. hey, it's alright if I go in the penthouse, right? <laughs> <laughs> we can't even count Stephen because that ain't her, that ain't her husband though. You think, she That's how you think she'll leave something for him in the will? Huh? Or she'll leave everything for the Gail? Yeah, I don't know. To Gail? Is Gail her <laughs> girlfriend? Gail actually thick, though. I think they got some old. Allegedly. allegedly. Yeah, when you say allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. But also see. Also, Whitney type shit. What, <laughs> tell me this. Her Robin. When you, when, you, when you think about black wealth, what makes it black wealth? You're, you're, you're able to. Pass it down. It's gener it feels generational. Like yeah. it's something that you can, you can pass on to generations at a time. Like you know, Jay Z's wealthy. Uh, you know, uh, Bob Johnson when he was doing it. Those you know, niggas in the billion years that can impact generations from from you know, two, three, four at a time. They can do things charitable, and it's not a, it's not a, it's a drop in a bucket for them. It's easy for them to go open a fucking school. It's easy for them to donate. Five million and not even think twice about it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Shit like that. So, where Jay Z from, right? Brooklyn. Since, since Jay Z's been a billionaire, is it different because of him? Is it is it is it different? Then is the crime rate down? Is all these things like like <coughs> what 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 impact? Okay, Oprah. Oprah from where? Chicago, right? Yeah. Okay. Is Chicago any better because Oprah is a billionaire? No. Now, if Oprah lost all her she money, she was no better when Kanye was a billionaire. But uh, that's what I'm saying. If if that that's, see what black wealth, right? Okay, when you go to other races of people, and you go to, uh, if if Seinfeld lost lost his money, it would affect the Jewish community because he takes care of Jewish people. You feel me? If uh. If you go in Seinfeld's closet, I guarantee he got a lot of shit that his people made. Now, let's go to our people and shit. Let's, you know, our people ain't even got together and made a car yet. That's a good point. It's not black wealth. It's just it's rich niggas. <laughs> <laughs> it's pointless, bro. If Oprah lost all her money, we wouldn't even feel the effects of it. We wouldn't even know it. Oprah could be broke right now. Nobody'd be like, "Man, Oprah ain't paying us," cause it's not. She's not directing that to her people. That's you feel point. me? Mm -hmm. So it's like black wealth, man. We gotta, we gotta watch how we, uh, how we say this black wealth shit, man. This shit ain't black wealth. We just happy to see niggas doing something, right. but it ain't. It's not affecting us. Right. Them folks ain't buying shit. That they ain't got black toilet paper in their house. They ain't got all that. These other folks, they do. They they ain't even got it. They got it in them. Right. They 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 make sure that people get straight. We right. don't. Right, right, right. You know what All right, man. This is the end of the show. For sure. Give everybody your your socials where they can follow you at. All the shows you got going on. Oh, okay. Uh, 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 Brian. What Brian? What this shit is? Comedian <laughs> Ron the Don. Cause I changed. I just changed oh, my saying. username. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> he used to be Ron the Don seven one, but okay. now it's comedian it was, right. Ron the Don. Uh, you know, um, on IG Ron Manley on Facebook. Okay. Uh, the Kanye Boys podcast man is on all platforms. Whatever we talk the best ish. I got that podcast with uh comedian Fredo Davis. Uh. Also, I got another podcast coming called Mr. Misogynistic. That's one that y'all, you know, all the podcasts, you know, follow all the podcasts. We all talking that shit, but, you know, Mr. Misogynistic is going, it's, going, it's not really a podcast, but it's really a show. You know what I'm saying? Coming or whatever like that. Coming in the near future. 
I've, uh, you had people on, or you just talking the whole time? I'm gonna have a bunch of women on there. Oh, okay. Yeah, piss the women off. I was about to say, you just gonna be talking Can't shit. Can't fuck with me. Ha! I got women on my show. Ha! Yeah. <laughs> Kevin Samuels and shit. Okay. Kevin Samuels, see, see I, don't, I don't follow them. Uh, like, I ain't gonna say I don't follow them dudes, but I don't, I don't. I don't share all the same views as them. I'm always gonna be myself, man. I'm always gonna be a, a needle in the haystack. You feel me? So, you know, it's it, you, you just gotta watch it. You gotta uh, watch it when it come out. Okay. Uh, yeah, man. I got a show in um a show coming in uh the 28th in Fort Lauderdale. Uh, me, comedian Fredo Davis, uh, comedian Jet Wilson. That's my dog. And uh, Sunshine, we got a show in uh, Fort Lauderdale on the 28th. If you're in Fort Lauderdale, go ahead and get your tickets early because we're going to crush that show like we always do. I'll always be in Fort Lauderdale. Mm -hmm. um, what else I got going on, man? We got a, a, a movie coming out next next month. I think the premiere is next month called The Hole in the Wall. We shot in Milwaukee mm -hmm. uh, with uh, Chinaz Myron, mm -hmm. uh, Dude Play Biggie. What's his name? Oh, that nigga? Okay, I know you're talking about. Uh, yeah, I, can't remember that I, I always forget his name. I call him Gravy. He's, yeah. he's rap. Gravy Jamal. His name's Jamal. Yeah, yeah. Or whatever. Shouts out to him, man. He'd be, he he was, uh, he'd been at a couple of my shows, too. Uh, shouts out to him. Uh, who else? Kelly Kale's in the movie. Okay. Uh, Famous Amos. Fredo Davis. Um, what's my boy's name? There's a lot of people in the movie, man. Shouts out to Steve O. Love, man. Uh, what's up? He the one who uh who 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 uh hired us for the movie. Got you. Okay. And uh we also got a comedy movie coming uh in the near future. Me and Fredo Davis, Kanye Boys and Friends. So you know, make sure y'all support that. It's gonna be on a lot of platforms, man. Trying to take this thing up a notch, you know, go on some tours and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Comedian Ron and Don got a whole lot of shit going on. You feel me? So you know. That's what's up. Support what's your up? boy. That's what's up. All right, y'all heard it. Support everything they got. He got going on. Uh, we will be back next week, Wednesday. All right, same bad time, same bad channel, eight o'clock. And if you did not, for whatever reason, heard it the first time, you can catch the show back on Spotify, iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, MixCloud, uh, Facebook, Misfits of Comedy, Instagram, Misfits of Comedy, Amazon Music, uh, Roku TV, Pandora. And a bunch of other shit. Like we don't, Ever read that. We don't every fucking thing. That's major. Um, There's no reason for you to say you haven't seen it. You can see my man over and over on YouTube, whatever, all that. All right? So we'll see you again, like I said, next week, Wednesday, with a new guest. All right? All right, man. Peace. Shouts out to the Mr. Mr. Comedy. Sir. Uh. Chris Classic. 2016s. Uh, first of all, I'm a New York nigga. New kicks, new chicks, and new fitty. You could put me anywhere, I'ma kick it. 125th G Depp, let's get it. I hate when niggas say you make real hip hop. I will still fuck your bitch in Gucci flip flops. The problem is, if I say anything intelligent, you call it conscious like it's somehow not relevant.